Hello, people of the interwebs. Welcome back. We are going to be doing a very special unboxing of the first collection of the Abominable Toys um, Frozen Popsicle Blind Box or Blind Bag figures. So here's what the box looked like. I didn't buy a whole case, but since I bought what was left at the bottom of the case, I uh, was able to get this case. It was very sweet of them to give it to me. So here's what it looks like as a display. And I'll show you guys when um, I take you down to see it. I'm trying to figure out how to, come on now. Oh, okay, so here we go. That's what it looks like. So what I did get, and I'll show you guys what the, uh, the series each have. I got two of these Christmas ones because this one has one in the series and one variant. So theoretically, I should get one of each, cross fingers for me, because uh, it would be fun to see this uh, mystery one. But so I didn't need to get too many of these, so I got two. And since this is the first time I'm going to go into detail about the bag, because I've never seen these before, and I'm sure you guys haven't either. So they are, it is kind of cool because it does legitimately look like you pulled out like a popsicle from a box. So it comes in a bag, it's a crinkly bag. There is a tear tab up here or like an opening so you can tear it. And they are in a, it feels like they're like in a plastic case and then they're sitting in the middle, I'll open it in a minute. So there's these. And then from the three I did get, same idea, but these are blue and these, if you guys can see them, are the ones that you can get, including the chase. Now, because I wasn't chasing anything or I didn't have any particular one that I wanted, I only got three. Um, and I did get these at Designer Con, and they were set up there and had a whole bunch of these and other things that they were selling. It was really cool to see. And some people were opening them right there at the table and seeing what they pulled, especially with these. And that was kind of fun. I considered doing that, but I knew that I wanted to make a video because they're, you know, it's a new series. And I'm sure people are curious as to what they actually look like. So I'm excited to open these and see what they actually are. And I do like to put them in these bags. So I'm going to do these three first, I think. And then I will do the two Christmas ones. Um... And I'll show you guys again what they're supposed to be. There's Chomp, there's Bigfoot Chomp, Albino Chomp, Cotton Candy Chomp, Jolly Green Chomp, and Mean Mug and Chomp. That one's cute. I'd love to get that one because I love the face. And then, of course, the Chase. So, uh, here we go. And I think there were six or maybe nine in the case. So, here we go. We're going to open this. Come along with me while we see what the new Frozen Culture Abominable Toys uh, Mystery Vinyl Popsicles look like. Are we ready? Here's the bag, and here we go. All right, so here's the plastic they sit in. And this one is, who is this one? Oh my God, this is Mean Muggin Chomp? It doesn't look like it. Is this the, ch no, this is just Chomp. Okay, cool. So, oh, neat. Okay, so it comes with a stand. Can you guys see that? Um, they're actually fairly substantial. Let me, come on now. I, I'm glad that they come in this because it's much less likely to get banged up and sort of, you know, trashed. Okay, so here's my hand. Here's what it looks like. They are, uh, the face is shiny. The rest of it is matte. Really cute. I love that it looks like someone took a big old chomp out of it. Um, and then you've got, it's not wood, but it's made to look wood. And then it looks the same on the other side. But I love that they included the stand because then you can just put him like that and you don't have to like finagle anything or try to figure out how to lean it against something or where to put it. He can just literally stand perfectly on his own and look absolutely adorable and make you want to get a popsicle. I mean, maybe it's just me. But let's do the next one. Cross your fingers that I don't get any doubles, first of all, because there's only three. And secondly, again, I want to get Mean Mug and Chomp. So, let's see. The bag is really fun. I like the packaging on this. It goes along with the item that's inside, and it looks cute. Like, I love the bright colors. Um, I love that it kind of looks like food packaging. So, really neat. Okay. Oh, this one's pink. So, this one is Strawberry Chomp, I think. Is it? Uh, chomp cotton candy chomp oh and there's no collector's cards or anything in here so i'm gonna take him out 
Come on now. I don't have to do anything to the paint job. Although the paint job is really sturdy, so I'm not really too, too worried about it. So again, the body is pink. His face is, um, the body is matte. His face is shiny. There's a little bit of shiny detailing in terms of like the shaping, but I, it's going to sound weird. Um, there's a little bit of like inconsistency here on the paint, but I'm going to, I mean, you can't really tell unless you move around. I'm going to do something weird for you guys. Like it's solid. It's a solid plastic or vinyl or whatever you want to call it. And this again is plastic and not wood. So he also comes with a stand. How cute are they? Oh, and because they're backwards, you can sit them like, oh, that's really cool. I'll show you guys when I uh, take you down. So the last one are the regular ones. And we'll do a little bit of crinkle for me. So here we go, last one. Um, Actually, you know what, I might keep this because I like the bag. So I'm gonna try and do it this way. Yeah, you can do it this way too. Cool. So you can see the front still. That's kind of what I wanted. Okay. And then we open that. Oh, sweet, no repeats, woohoo! I didn't get Mean Muggin', but this one's really cute. I like the color. Although my original thought was that it was matcha, but he's not. He's mean green, jolly green chomp. So I'm assuming maybe it's supposed to be green apple, but super cute. I love the colors. He's got the little chompers. He's same all around. The inside is white where you would have taken a bite. Um, and then again, you've got the little stand they sit in. Really, really cute. And I'm gonna put this behind and then I'm gonna put this aside now. The moment you've all been waiting for, not really, but I have been, because I'm just really curious to see if I get the chase in this one, given the odds. May the odds ever be in my favor. Mm. All right, let's see. I'm gonna get this one. Okay. So, oh wait, is that the chase? No, the chase, this is the Christmas one. It's the regular one. You guys, I can never tell if I get the chase or not. So he is gingerbread colored. And he's got little gumdrops for the buttons. And his, like, his face is really cute. Look. And the inside is like a light brown. So I guess the, ice, the popsicle would be like a mocha or chocolate or something. Super cute. And again, put him in like that. He'll face the other one. Um, does it say what flavor? Oh, gingerbread chomp. Okay. So now everyone cross their fingers that I got the chase figure. Are we ready? Take your guesses as to whether I'm going to get it or not, because I really want to see it. And here we go. Come on. Aw, no, no chase. This one's regular. And you know what? I might have to contact them because I'm not too thrilled with the paint job here and here. Um, and he's a regular one. So two regulars. Um, anyway, but again, he comes with his little stand. Um, this is the four that I got that I absolutely love. And I'm going to take you guys down now so you can see them facing forward. They're a really good size for display. Like They're a fun size to mix amongst your other figures because like they're big enough to where you could, let's see, I'll put this little, pers this little one, right? See how it's taller? So it makes for a really good display or like... Um, if you have a shorter one too, like that, you can still see most of the figure and that's really cool. Put them away, but you guys can get a closer look. There's gingerbread, there's mean green, there's cotton candy, and there's just original chomp. So while I did not get the holiday chase, sad, but these are super, super cute and I'm really happy to have them. So I hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing video for this. Um, let me know which one's your favorite or if you thought I was going to get the chase and I didn't. This is the display for anyone that's curious. The Abom Abominable Toys box. I don't know where these are going to be sold other than their website. I know that they're going to do that. I'm pretty sure they've already announced it. Um, so here they are. They are super cute and I am happy to have them. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Bye!